Hi, I'm Tim Vieira, and today I'm going to tell you about our EMNLP findings paper, Searching for More Efficient Dynamic Programs. NLP loves dynamic programming. It's the tool of choice for devising efficient inference algorithms for numerous linguistic formalisms, such as finite state transduction, dependency parsing, context-free parsing, context-sensitive parsing, and even machine translation before it went neural. However, Designing an algorithm with the best possible running time is challenging. Oftentimes, an initial or early paper presents an algorithm that's just not as fast as it could be, which leads to a follow-up paper, which speeds it up, often many years later. Consider the following examples from the literature. Bilexical parsing was originally presented as an N to the five algorithm by Michael Collins and was later sped up to N to the four by Eisner and Sato. Many other algorithms require similar speedups. In this work, we ask a simple question. Can we automatically discover these faster algorithms given an initial correct algorithm? Our approach to automatically optimizing dynamic programs is to cast it as a graph search problem where the nodes of the graph are program variations. The edges are meaning-preserving transformations between programs, and the cost of each node measures the program's running time. Here's a glimpse of what our search graph looks like. We represent our algorithms in Dyna, which is a high-level language for dynamic programming. The benefit of doing so is that it abstracts away low-level implementation details, which can easily be worked out by the language's compiler. Here's an example of CKY parsing, or more precisely, the inside algorithm, which computes the total weight of all parses of the sentence. We see that the Dyna program looks a lot like the recurrence relation that's at the heart of the algorithm. Let's look at the meaning of this first rule. It says that we can combine a constituent from i to j of type y with a constituent from j to k of type c with a grammar rule that rewrites x as y z into a constituent from i to k of type x. Since we want the total weight, we're going to sum over the variables j, y, and z. We have a similar looking rule for the boundary condition, which maps an input word into a part of speech tag or pre-terminal. And finally, the total weight is just the sentence tag covering the entire sentence from zero to n, where n is the length of the sentence. We now consider the cost of each node. Under some technical conditions, the running time of a Dyna program is proportional to the number of ways to instantiate its rules. Consider again that CKY rule that we love. This rule has six variables. The variables X, Y, and Z are non-terminals, and we say that they take on at most K distinct values, whereas the variables I, J, and K are sentence positions, and therefore they take on at most N different values. Thus, there are at most N cubed, K cubed ways to instantiate this rule. However, in this paper, we're going to use a slightly simpler analysis, which treats all the variables as if they had the same type. And thus, we can write the running time of this rule as v to the sixth, where v is just the bigger of n and k. And now we can just optimize the exponent here, which uh, for this program is six. We call this objective function or cost function uh, the degree of the program. I know what you're thinking. Why not just run the code on some benchmark data? And that's a great idea, except that running it on real data is really slow. And we really need to explore thousands of nodes in order to find a good program variation. And so we found that this was completely infeasible uh, unless the uh, benchmark data sets were extremely toy. Additionally, it seems like algorithms designers are doing this type of asymptotic analysis anyways. So if we want to recover the speedups of the that we mentioned in the introduction, we probably want to optimize for asymptotic degree. Next, we consider program transforms, which are the edges of our search graph. 
A program transform is a function that maps a Dyna program to another Dyna program with the same meaning and hopefully a better running time, although some transforms actually increase the running time so that way we can later improve it uh, with a subsequent transform. We use the program transforms described in this paper. Actually, we use a subset of them. Um, and they're enough to recover many important speedups from the literature. The most useful transform appears to be this folding transform, which I'm now going to tell you about. Let's look again at that CKY rule. If we write this rule with an explicit summation, we can reorganize the sum so that we sum over Y before we sum over J and Z. And let's go ahead and define uh, a temporal, uh, like intermediate quantity here, temp, and write its corresponding Dyna program. It turns out that the running time here has a degree of five, whereas the original had a degree of six. We also see that it has a better dependence on K uh, in the more fine grained analysis. I'll also mention that fold has a approximate inverse operation called unfold, which we also include in our search space, uh, but I don't have time to tell you about now. So we throw this, all these ingredients into our graph search problem. And the reason why we need search is just that sometimes we need to search over many possible sequences of transformations into, in order to find the best one, and we can't do it greedily. In our experiments, we tried beam search and Monte Carlo tree search as they seem to be good candidates for high, uh, large search spaces. We coded up 15 different algorithms in Dyna and we optimized them with our system. We hope to add more in the near future. For each of these algorithms, we worked out what the best known degree was and we tested how well our system recovers the best degree given the initial program that we implemented. Running our optimizer on these initial programs, we were able to recover the optimal degree in all cases uh, with both algorithms, Beam Search and Monte Carlo Tree Search. So we kind of deemed it to be too easy. And so we did a supplementary set of experiments, which we call stress tests. The stress tests changed how we picked the initial program. Specifically, we applied a sequence of random transformations uh, in order to get a more difficult initial program. And then we saw how well we were able to recover the optimal degree. We found that these programs can actually be pretty difficult to optimize, uh, although we were pleasantly surprised with how well we were able to do here. We hope that uh, future work will uh, improve the search here. So in summary, representing algorithms in a unified language allows us to systematize the process of speeding them up. We showed how to optimize dynamic programs with graph search on a program transformation graph. And we found that measuring the running time efficiently was essential in order to explore enough of the graph search space. Thanks.